this tutorial once again so now in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to get a free domain name and hosting all right so for those of you that might not have the funds or the money to purchase a hosting plan or a domain to start up your practice or to start doing or implementing what you are learning in the tutorial video so this video is for you all right so we know that free hosting packages are limited are limited because it's actually given to you for free but then we can't deny the fact that it can be used or it can it can it can be or it's of a great advantage when it comes to practicing so you don't need to pay any hosting company to get a hosting package or domain to practicalize all what you are learning so you can implement everything on this free hosting all right so now this this is it this this is a free host and this is pro okay this is profreehost.com so i'm going to send the link to the group so now i will move directly to register all right register now so we are going to register an account now all right i think i have an account before but then let me register a new account all right so make sure this is your gmail account then input your password and let's proceed all right so it says please activate your account okay Okay, let me save this so please activate your account okay so now i'll be heading on to my to my gmail account to check all right you can see the email here the email is right here so i'll click on it you see activate now so activate your account all right you see your account has been activated successfully all right you'll be redirected all right all right all right so now you can see you do not have an account yet create one okay so you can see a lot of adverts are actually coming in because this is this is a a free hosting you can see this is a free hosting all right so now you come over here you come over here and okay they say enter attractive name for your website let me just say it will be a subdomain attached to a domain but then let's let's just do something let me let me say let me say share drag okay let me let me use something like this share drag you can see share drag dot you can see this extension being being added to it so it's because it's a free domain so i don't need to mind any other extension being added to it it's just left for me to create it and use it i don't know if you are following so this this would be my domain you see share drag dot live blogs com. okay here now you can actually select anyone you want okay let me go for s0.com all right this is sharedrag.s0.com i think this one is nice all right so i'll click on free domain free domain here so you click on this to continue Alright, alright. So you can see it has been created for us. It has been created for us.
all right you can see so this is my username here and this is my domain name here sharedrag.s0.com so you just click on this button here that says manage you click on it manage and you see in the tutorial i talked about the control panel which is the c panel and you have your c panel here despite the fact that this is a free hosting plan you see you still have your c panel because that's where you control everything on your website so just click on it and go to your c panel all right redirecting to your control panel so let's see how the c panel looks like okay to notify to, to notify you of changes to services account status changes offers and other important okay send you your email okay just 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 go over this and click on i approve because it's a free hosting so they might actually want to do some other things all right so let's wait for it to load all right you see that it's similar to what i showed you in the tutorial you see it's similar it's very very similar you can see it's similar so it's it's almost the same it's almost the same so this is i think with this one you you can be able to create your website just manage it as it's for practical so then let's look for softaculous app installer on this free hosting package so that is it so I've clicked on it. So it's going to take me, you can see there is no difference between this and the one I showed in the tutorial, despite the fact that this is a free one. So now I'll click on install. This is the WordPress here. You can see this is the WordPress here. So I'm going to click on install. All right, you see that is the same thing. So just click here, you see. You change it and this is your domain name you, you leave it like this so just fill the information and you know fill it and install your wordpress so you can continue from here i think this little one would help you to go as far as implementing what you are learning instead of giving excuses that i don't have money to pay for hosting so i can't continue so that is all for this session thank you for staying with me to the end